Hello everyone, my name is Chloe and today I am here with a brand new video. Welcome back to Brunette Bidlow File where I post bookish videos and writing content. Today I am here to talk about all of the books that I plan on reading in the month of May. So the month of May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So I went through my physical TBR and I wanted to read some books by AAPI authors this month. So I actually had one or two on my shelf and then I also have some library books that are going to fit into this month as well in addition to book club and other library books that I have to read this month as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started but the first thing we're going to talk about is the booktube chicks book club. So for the month of May the booktube chicks are going to be reading We Are Satellites by Sarah Pinsker. This is a science fiction novel following a family and one day the son of this family comes home and says he wants this device called a pilot and I believe it's some sort of brain implant and soon it becomes a device that is kind of needed to move forward into the future um, and that's all I pretty much know about this. I have no thoughts, expectations, whatever going into this book. Um, I it wasn't even on my radar until it got picked for book club so this is something that I am going into with no expectations and I honestly have no idea what to expect. It could honestly go either way for me. I don't read a ton of sci-fi so this is something that I'm either gonna really enjoy it or not like it at all or maybe it'll just be okay um, but I do plan on getting the audiobook to listen to so we'll kind of see my feelings on the book. Our live show is going to be on May 29th at 6 p.m. on this channel. Uh, that is 6 p.m. Eastern. So check out all the information linked in the description below about this month's book discussion and also make sure you're following us on Twitter and Instagram at booktube chicks for updates regarding everything that is under the booktube chicks umbrella. So now I'm going to talk about the couple of AAPI books that I'm going to be reading this month. The first one, which is off my physical TBR, is going to be Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. I received this book in a giveaway package, so I don't really know anything about it. I have read from Elizabeth Lim before, but it was her contribution to the Twisted Tales series. Um, so it was a Mulan retelling and a Cinderella retelling. I have heard really good things about this book. I know that this book and some of her other books were featured in Fairy Loot, so this is another one I just have no expectations and it's good it can go either way for me. And this is also pretty thick and it is a fantasy. Um, my reading has slowly been branching out this year but not too much so um, we'll see how I feel about this book. The next one that I'm going to be reading which is going to be a buddy read with my co-worker and it is My Sister's Big Fat Indian Wedding by Sajni Patel. This is a young adult rom-com Obviously the title is giving me my big fat Greek wedding vibes and from reading the synopsis this is going to be following two separate things. One is this large Indian wedding and the other is a music competition. This cover is so interesting and detailed and I'm just really excited to pick it up besides for the big fat Greek wedding vibes um, and I'm interested to see how this music competition with the overlay of the Indian wedding is going to work together. Um, I don't know too much about it. I think I'm going to go in blind with this one but I'm very excited to pick it up. And the last one that I'll be picking up for AAPI month is an e-arc that I received and that is The Sizzle Paradox by Lily Menon aka Sanja Menon. This is her second adult rom-com full-length novel and I really enjoyed Makeup Breakup so I'm very excited to see where this one goes. I have enjoyed Sanja Menon's YA work. I know we haven't gotten a YA in a bit. I believe we got one early last year um, but I'm excited to read her next adult rom-com and see how her adult writing has improved since her debut in this genre. And then I have two more books I'm going to talk about. The first one I just really need to get to and that's The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa. This is an arc I received from a Goodreads giveaway and I wasn't able to pick it up before its release date but it is something that I'm really looking forward to reading. 
I enjoyed her previous book which was The Worst Best Man so this is definitely something that I would like to get to as soon as possible. I do have the audio for this now so hopefully I should be able to get to it pretty soon. And the last one is a library book that I really need to get to as soon as possible. It was also something that I got an e arc of and I wasn't able to get to before release date and it is How to Love Your Neighbor by Sophie Sullivan. This is a rom-com following an interior decorator so that is something new that I have not read before and I'm interested to see how this one goes. So these are the last two. I think I have audios for both of them and hopefully I'll be getting to them ASAP because I want to make sure I write my reviews for them. So that is everything that I have for my May TBR and reading plans. A bunch of library books have been coming in so I actually ended up pausing almost all of my holds except for the necessary ones. So uh, I'll be reading a bunch of those as well intermingled throughout the month. So that is all I have for you all today. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every week, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. And if you really enjoy my content, consider checking out my Patreon linked in the description below. Thank you all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!